How's everybody doing? It is March 25th, 2021. Uh, it's going to be a quicker video. I don't want to spend a lot of time talking about um, stuff that they've obviously planned, but um, you definitely need to know it because uh, if you thought oil was going up now, which it has, it's um, it's gone up over a dollar a gallon just for our, you know, for our fuel, our gas. Um, diesel's gone up just as much. Um, but it's going to skyrocket now, and it's going to continue. To, this is all planned, okay? Check this out. I'll, let me get to the article. Sorry, I'm jumping ahead a little bit because I'm just so irritated to see this and to see how planned it is. And you just can't make this up. Wait till I show you one part of it. It says, it could take weeks to dislodge the ship stuck in the Suez Canal, straining a vital supply chain route. Of course, right? I mean, give me a break. I, I, and this is ridiculous. Uh, all right, let me just read it. I'm sorry. One of the world's biggest container ships ran aground in the Suez Canal Tuesday. The blockage has pinned in hundreds of other cargo ships in transit. Says an expert involved in clearing the canal said it could take weeks before the waterway is open again. A massive container ship has been blocking the Suez Canal, a major global shipping route, for over two days now. And experts say it might not be moving anytime soon. The ever given one of the biggest container ships in the world ran aground on Tuesday morning, blocking all other major vessels from passing through the heavily trafficked waterway. Says the CEO of Boscalis, Peter Berdowski, a Dutch company that is helping to address the blockage, said there are a lot of unknowns as to when the water may might be cleared, making the timeline for its removal nearly impossible to predict. I can, I can tell you when it'll be cleared, when they want it cleared, Right? I mean, you got you got to seriously not be thinking correctly to think that they, they if they wanted that cleared, if they wanted that ship out of there, that they would not do it with the technology that we have today. I mean, right? Come on now. They want it there. It's perfectly sitting there blocking. It just gives them another exclu uh, uh, excuse to crash the economy, okay? To crash everything, to make it harder on you, harder on your family, your, it doesn't matter where you're at in the world. These things happen everywhere. That's what I'm always trying to say. Don't just get locked in on your city, your state, your country, because this is worldwide, okay? That is what you're seeing. This is a NWO takeover, and you're seeing it everywhere, okay? It says, we can't exclude it might take weeks. Look at depending on the situation. I just love it when they said like that. Depending on the situation, yeah, when you're told, okay, go ahead and move it. The ship is currently stuck at a near right angle to the Egyptian canal that connects Europe and Asia. Part of the hulking 224,000 ton freighter had embedded itself in the bank of the canal, blocking hundreds of cargo ships now that face the decision to wait or find an alternative route. Reuters reported that diverted ships would likely be forced to go around Africa another 15,000 miles further. Okay, so think about this, right? Think about how much money they're going to say that they have to spend, right? Well, what, you know, the, one of the biggest things is oil that they're moving. Look at this. Everything from consumer products to machinery parts to oil flows through the 120-mile passage. Nearly 19,000 ships passed through the canal during 2020 for an average of about 52 ships per day. They're talking weeks. So just, you know what I mean? Just think about that. That, you know what I mean? That's 350 ships a week. So you're talking 700 ships that you're going to lose. You're coming through there. If that's if it's two weeks, if it's more than that, everybody, they're going to use this. Everything is going to go up, 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 up. It already has, and it's going to. And what I wanted to show you is what is on the side of this ship, okay? Now, check this out. I, I'm th This may not mean anything to anybody else, but to me, it was just like a flashing sign of where they're just mocking us, Okay. Look at what's on the side of the boat. Not the name of it ever given, but what's on the side of this? Evergreen, right? Well, what have we been hearing for the last, what, two, three, four, five years, right? That we need to, what, go green, right? That we need to go green, evergreen, right? <laughs> and it's just like, with what's going on, especially in the United States, with them shutting down all different types of, you know, fracking, oil, all kinds of stuff, trying to switch everything over to going green, right, I thought that just to me at least, it stood out and just, you know, it, it gave me a laugh. It really did because they are that predictable to me now. That is how it stands out. And I know it does to you as well. It's right in your face now. 
you know, so I had to show you that. I don't want to read the rest of it. The rest of it is just them telling you how long it's going to wait, how much you might have to lose, what we're going to have to do to, you know, compromise for this situation, blah, blah, blah. This is order out of chaos, everyone. Do you understand? That's every bit of this, right? They create an issue, then they give you the problem. You know, they, they create a problem, they give you the solution. You know, just like I was saying during this entire pandemic at the beginning, this so-called pandemic, you know, I said, I got so sick of them, everybody talking about, oh, the government cares, the government cares, you know, they're going to give you a stimulus, they're going to take care of you. I'm like, I'm so sick of hearing that, you know, it's like somebody breaking your legs and then, oh, they run up to you and they're going, oh, here's a crutch, here's a crutch. I'm trying to help you. Here, here's some crutches. It's the same thing that they do on a daily basis, whether it's on a massive scale like this or if it's on a local scale in just the city you live in. You have to realize that the only way for them to stay in control, for them to stay into power, is for them to continue to create these problems that only what? The government and the ones in control have the answers to. I love you all. I will be going live tonight, 8 p.m. on the Backup Channel. Eric sees all two. I hope to see you there. Everybody stay safe, stay strong, pray against all this because we truly are in a massive battle against good versus evil. But just know, no fear, good will prevail. We'll talk to you soon. God bless.